I, I love my mother. You know, you know, she was my my mom. My my mom was my woman. I love her. You know, and she's been gone about three years. And you know, as as an old say from a classic movie, a boy's best friend is mother. And you know, yeah. and that's good that you know they love you and they see you and respect you. And maybe have they ever considered about competing themselves, or do they feel like they just you know. I tell you what, uh, <laughs> my youngest son not interested whatsoever. Bodybuilding is tough. It's a hard job, and he doesn't understand why in the world anybody would do it. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't click. My oldest son, he's you know he's into girls and stuff like that, so he likes training. Uh, but, but also, the, it's it's tough. They see what I've gone through in preps and getting ready for shows, and how hard it, you know it's discipline, right? You've got to do it day in and day out, day in and day out. And they're just not into it. They're also you know teens. So I don't think that they're locking in at this moment in time. They're kind of enjoying being teenagers. But uh, my oldest son, definitely into training. He is more active. My younger son, not into it. Just, he's like, nope, don't make sense. I don't know why you would do that to yourself. <laughs> yeah, because it's tough. Because, you know, people don't understand when, especially, you know, when you when you compare to when you're competing, when you're at the shows, you're dehydrated, you're, yeah. you're sleep deprived, you're hungry. I know you were talking about how you're, you're in, in your video, we show how you wanted a burger. You know, and you know, and that's just, and that's the thing we get to about the food thing. And like, you know, what was that? Your last competition? What was that um, thing you wanted the most? The thing that was call your name. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's very much like it. It's tough. It's. It's, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. And I, I honestly don't recommend anybody to do it unless they're ready to commit to that lifestyle. Because, you know, if you see it as just like a part-time thing, like, oh, I'm just going to prep when I'm ready. And then, you know, in my off-season, I just do whatever. Uh, you're not going to be a very good competitor. It's Your physique's not going to show right. You're not going to get, you know, I think everybody's after a pro card. So you're just not going to, you're not going to not lock it in. Uh, if, if you truly enjoy the sport and you really want to be, you know, excel, excel at it, uh, you're going to live it. You're going to eat right. You're going to supplement right. You're going to train right. And it's going to be day in and day out, day in and day out. Uh, it, you don't just, you know, well, I prepped and you know, I'm done and I'm just going to do whatever I want willy nilly. You just, unfortunately, I wish it worked that way. Uh, but it doesn't. So it's, it's a little bit more meticulous than that. And it, and it's almost like a job. So you, uh, unless you're ready to give in a hundred percent of your lifestyle and completely change and uproot yourself into something completely different. It's just not for everybody. It's, it's hard. You have to be willing to, to give up all the things that you love, like burgers and fries, at least for a little while. Yes. Sometimes it's just, there's things that are just so wonderful about life, you know, and you sometimes you just be, uh, <laughs> you just be wanting, but it's just that you have to have self control. But I don't know self control. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't have a plan. I'm just a dog chasing cars. You know. Yeah, yeah that self yeah, control is rough. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, because the thing you had to follow a, a strict diet. You know, I mean. Oh yeah. You know, you have to eat this, eat that. I, I know this sound like you you were well, you cooking for your boys and your husband. You know, they're they're not prepping for a show. They can eat about oh. anything you want. You know, and I know especially you smell it. Mm, it smells good. You yeah, know? yeah. And, and yeah. especially during prep, you might say, you know, mommy, you can't eat that. Do that. You know, but, <laughs> it's just, but it is it's it's tough. You know, being you know a competitor and the work you put in. Uh, this is a comment from my man KL the Wanderer. He says this. It's not the KL. He says, "Do you see yourself in bodybuilding for a long run, like five years or even ten from now in the figure?" So, what do you think? Like, you think you have a expiration date for yourself? Because some competitors, um, I know some ladies who have competed in NPC for 20, 30 years before they got the pro card. I know some ladies who competed. Got the pro card, they were done. I know some ladies who still been consistent. Like I think one of the um the first mom Miss Olympia, Yaxenia Keen, she was the most consistent competitor. She competed, never missed a year. So, you know, would you think that you know you'd have a, a time where you say, you know what, I did what I could do, I got as far as I wanted to. So what I'm just gonna just sit back and enjoy life. When you figure you know, figure you're ready for that. Oh man, no, no, no. I, I just, this sport is fascinating to me. I, I you know, uh, at, at my, as I age, you know, I start, you know, 
I really enjoy the idea of seeing where I can go. Um, you know, that there is no capacity, right? Your capacity is here. So if I, you know, if I believe that and I know that, you know, I can always try just a little bit harder or a little bit more. Um, I don't want to give up. I don't want, and I don't want to mean it like that, like give up. I just don't want to stop. Uh, I, I'm very competitive. I love to challenge myself to see what I'm capable of doing. I know where I came from and I see where I am today and it's so different. And that's so inspiring to me. I, that's, I'm like, wow, this is, you know, if I could do this then, you know, who's to say I can't do more, you know, it, you know, in the future. So uh, I don't have an expiration date. I feel like uh, I'm going to compete for as long as, you know, as, as long as I can, you know, and, you know, just enjoy every little bit of it because it's, it's, it's amazing that when you get on stage, not a lot of people are able to do that. It feels like a lot when you're at these shows, Oh, wow. There's so many people here. But when you take that in the context of like this entire, let's say the United States, we're so few, there's so few of us that are able to do this. Uh, so it's, it's definitely a huge win to be able to get there, to be able to say, you know, I competed as a pro. I earned that my spot on that stage. So um, I want to keep going. I want to see what I can do. I feel like there's always opportunity to improve. So I'm a, I'll, I'll bring it. Yeah, you want to get, like I said, we said, like Rocky Balboa says, you want to keep moving forward. And yeah, I mean, you got to respect the passion. You have to have a passion for this. You don't get just thinking, okay, I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be the biggest thing. And like I said, bodybuilding is still a, a, a fringe sport. Not a lot yeah. of people know about it. Other than people might, like I said, again, we may think about people like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno and a couple 